Good morning, Hopkinton High School. Chris Pomeroy here with HHS Today. Let's jump right in with Minute with the Principal. For the last Minute with the Principal of the year, I wanted to first wish the graduating class of 2016 the best of luck. You're a class of energetic, passionate, and talented students whose personality will be sorely missed next year. I also wanted to thank the junior class officers, advisors, and the 420 students who attended the prom last Friday. Many of the staff there commented how well behaved and how polite our students were. So thank you for representing our school in such a positive way. Also, great job to the 10th graders with MCAS, as well as those who took AP exams. I'm sure all your hard work and effort will pay off when you get the scores back this summer. So as we turn the page and get ready for the stretch run here for the end of the year, I encourage everyone to finish the year off strong. Some things we're working on for next year include a turf field project we're excited about. Much of the legwork on fundraising will take place sometime next year with the hope of breaking ground at the end of next school year. Also, we're going to start the conversations about a later start time. Although we're far from it right now, we'll certainly explore this possibility for the 2017-18 school year. And we're continuing to focus our, uh, our efforts on examining ways to minimize stress for students at the high school. We're looking into tweaking our de-stress weeks, and we're discussing homework policies district-wide next year. This is a real goal for us, but one that is a difficult one to achieve. In closing, remember again as finals approach, maintain a healthy diet, exercise, and get plenty of sleep. That's all for me. Have a great day, and be kind to others. Thanks, Mr. Bishop. I really think school should start later than the 6 o'clock that I have to get up every morning. Next, we'll go check up how our club is doing. Thanks, Art Club. Great job on the art show. Moving on, we caught up with people that went on the Peru trip before and after their travels. Let's check it out. What made you want to go to Peru? Um, I've always wanted to go to one of the seven wonders of the world, which is Machu Picchu. And plus, it's a service trip, so it's great to just gain some experience. Peru just sounds like a place you want to go to. Like, everybody wants to go to Peru. Like, find someone you, who doesn't want to go to Peru. It's Peru. What do you expect to gain out of the experience? Um, I think that I'll be exposed to a lot of a new culture that I've never seen, so that's exciting. And I'll get to work on my Spanish, so that's good. How many llamas do you expect to see in Peru? All the llamas. Um, I hope a lot, and I hope they're alive, because I know they eat them over there, too. So. Did you learn anything while you were in Peru? Yeah, ba like a lot on how fortunate we are here than like other people are there. It's just like it's very different and you don't really realize how fortunate we are here until like you go somewhere else where they're less fortunate. And did you learn anything while you were in Peru? I did. I saw nine. Two were pets. They were at the Seminario Artist Studio and then I saw seven at Machu Picchu. They were there for lawnmower. They, cut, they kept eating the grass so that it wouldn't be grown too long, tall. 19. <laughs> 19. This is just a short clip of the entire interview. If you want to see more, you can see it in its entirety on our website at hcam.tv slash hhstv. Now, 
we bring you the five second interview. This time we asked, if you could spend one day with anyone in history, who would it be? Zach Doss. Good choice, good choice. I would spend the day with Mao Zedong. John F. John Kennedy. F. Kennedy. <laughs> I would hang with Mussolini. David, if you could spend the day with someone, who would it be? Uh. <laughs> Sanborn. I think I'd say JFK. Uh, Oprah. Uh, Harry Styles or uh, the other guy, Zane. Mr. Wander. <laughs> Will Scannell. I would spend a day with Davin Evans. I would, uh, I would like to spend it with Jackie Robinson because he's a great person to look up to and all the perseverance he shows, his dedication, hard work, the efforts there, you already know. I'd spend my day with Drake. Shout out to Drizzy, man. Views from the six. The uh, Abe Lincoln. Michelle, if you could spend a day in history with anyone, who would it be? That's very interesting. Thank you. And uh, may I point out, you're missing an eye. <laughs> As for me, I would pick Neil Armstrong, and the day would be on the moon. Finally, Hillerfest is happening on Friday, June 10th, right after school till 6.30. Come by, have fun with games and tournaments outside, and don't forget money for snacks. That's the end of our final episode in their premiere year. Good luck with your travels, and see you in September. <laughs>